Coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between George St. Pierre and Conor McGregor. So here he is, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, the former two-division UFC champion, Conor McGregor, back in a mixed martial arts setting for the first time in a long time. Of course, many of you ingested his boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. Thankfully, all of that is in the past, and Conor McGregor's present is a return to the greatest proven ground in MMA here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. the UFC middleweight champion George St. Pierre walked away from the game after a 12th consecutive win in defense of his title against Johnny Hendricks in 2013, returned to the Octagon in 2017. This is one of the most dominant takedown artists in UFC history. Stand-up skills as well, an outstanding jab, and he's back on the big stage tonight. GSP is the definition of the modern mixed martial artist. He's extremely athletic, well-versed in every single aspect of the sport, and no one is better at taking control of a fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. McGregor is 29. GSP is 36. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC walk-away division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Potter McGregor! And now, he is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal! Presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This I am fun. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go Three, down five. right Three. now. Three. All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight. George St. Pierre is one of the very best fighters to ever fight in the UFC. He's the greatest welterweight champion in the history of the sport and one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in mixed martial arts. He's also fantastic at mixing up wrestling and striking and being unpredictable in his attacks. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 
Good scramble. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? One of George St. Pierre's favorite weapons are the elbows. Keep an eye on them in this fight. I think they're going to play a big factor. Nice punch there by George St. Pierre. He hip escapes from the full mount. He's posturing up here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, nice punch there by GSP. Good punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Beautiful punch. Back up to his feet again. Oh, nice leg kick. Another shot. He's facing with the punch. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Two minutes to go in the round. That one hurt. And he connects there. Oh, he dropped! This could be it right here. Nice outside leg kick there. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. There he goes. Turning side kick. Nice left hook to the body. He would turn it over well. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Nice punch by St. Pierre. He lands a big shot from the bottom. In full guard here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by McGregor. And an outside leg kick lands. Oh, he missed that kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very exciting round. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Round two on the way. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. And a miss with the right hook. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and bunches, and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Another takedown for George St. Pierre. Nice punch. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. And mounts again. Full mount. It's good work from the top here by GSP. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice shot to the head. Trujillo got to be careful as he's trying to get back up to his feet that he doesn't expose himself to the hooks. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. GSP gets tattooed by that straight punch. Hand speed, man. 
Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Just over two minutes to go in round two. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Effective punch there by McGregor. Nice leg kick, oh. very quickly done. Oh, big left hand! He's rocked! Painting with that kick. McGregor gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he's down! McGregor gets caught with that punch. That's a really strong leg kick there by George St. Pierre. Conor McGregor with some body shots. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Trying the flying knee there. He's got good accuracy on that jab. He faints with the kick, and he lands a nice kick. Oh, he's hurt! Big straight punch! All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the belt. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn, and now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Celeste is holding it down. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's looking to take the back. Both hooks in. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's in full guard here. Lands with the right hand. McGregor's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Good shot to the head. Excellent ground and pound here, not giving his opponent any breaks. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Posture's up. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. They'll block that offering there, and then counters beautifully with a leg kick. Nice job by GSP. Wow, what a back-and-forth exchange. Oh. Big shot to the head, oh. he's done. He's got him hurt here. Oh, very nice. Big shots! That's nice a shot. hard hook. Oh, big left hook there. Good defense there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Take down attempt there. Takes him down again. That's his first takedown of this round. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round. And it doesn't look like the corner has made the proper adjustments. Another successful takedown here. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. Mounts again. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. McGregor gets back up again. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Once again here, Joe trying for the takedown. He gets it. And he connects there. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Finds a home for the left hand there. Big shots being landed from the top in half guard. He gets in a full guard here. Getting in position for an armbar. 
Throws the leg over the face. Now he's gonna extend his body. He's gonna extend the body. He might get a finish here. Wow, that was close. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. St. Pierre's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Excellent save with the kick. Try to establish that jab. How about that shoot? Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awful long night. Nice right hand. He's doing a great job of utilizing the ground and pound here, really getting off some excellent shots. Very swung into a haymaker. Well, the land of that inside leg kick already a welt on his opponent. Oh, he got tagged. He got hurt bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's in full guard. Lands a punch there, Joe. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by George St. Pierre. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. He's checking every single one of those. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, his leg kicks are brilliant here. Oh, how about the bruise on the outside of his thigh? He might need to start switching stances here, Joe, to protect that leg. And have fun walking tomorrow. Ow. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Leg kick by George. Missed that shot. Some nice back and forth action here. Moving well. Good combination. 20 seconds left. And he's down. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Horn sounds for the end of round four. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's look at that from a different angle. And here we see it from another angle. Deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cut. Caught him with a 
punch. He's in full guard. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Landed that punch flush. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by GSP. Clean punch. We might get a stoppage here soon. up in a big head strike by St. Pierre. Back to the feet now. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Body kick, look at that. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. And there's a single attack. There's the single. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he establishes full mount. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. McGregor gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's oh, he's starting again! just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Here it is from a different angle. Look at this. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Well, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. Ladies he has the Referee official Herb decision. Dean comes out for this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with his chief corner, John Cavanaugh. A massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the notorious Conor McGregor. Going to be interesting to see how he moves forward after another big win here tonight.